Well, Indian Space uh, Agency ISRO is all set for its first rocket launch mission of the year. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark III will perform a commercial launch ferrying as many as 16 satellites later in the day. The launch is scheduled for 10.18 a.m. local time from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. This mission is being facilitated by New Space India Limited, which is the commercial arm of ISRO. The 16 satellites will be ferried belong to India, Europe, Brazil. The primary satellite of the mission is the EOS-NI or Anvesha, which is an Earth observation satellite built by India's Defence Research Development Organisation, the DRDO. The strategic uh, use uh, sat satellite is to be placed at uh, 511 kilometres above Earth. It is a hyperspectral uh, imaging satellite, which means that it can very much see more than the human eye or a conventional optical imaging satellite. In addition to the imaging, uh, the Earth in detail, the satellite can specifically identify and even differentiate between materials that it sees. Let's say that a metal bunker or uh, a concrete structure is camouflaged by vegetation. And we sure the satellite will be able to differentiate between the two. In addition to this, there will also be uh, 15 co-passenger satellites aboard the PSLV-7 satellites. Of these are from... Uh, Seven are from India, two from Europe, five from Brazil and one from Nepal. In fact, many of these satellites are from academia or startups and they are meant to demonstrate unique experiments in space. The launch marks the return of ISRO's workhorse rocket PSLV. It returns to flight after a rare failure in May 2025. Beyond's principal correspondent uh, Siddharth MP uh, is at the Indian Space Port Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. He tells us more about the impending launch. There's just a short while to go for India's first orbital rocket launch of 2026. This is going to be a mission by ISRO's workhorse rocket, the PSLV. This mission is dubbed PSLV C-62 EOS N1. In fact, the primary satellite that's going to be launched is a strategic use satellite built by India's Defence Research Development Organisation. This satellite is known as Anvesha and its unique characteristic is the fact that it is not just a camera in space. It's not just going to capture images of objects on Earth, but this is a hyperspectral imaging satellite. So what it will do is as the sun illuminates the earth, this satellite and its sophisticated sensor will be able to capture the reflections of, you know, different objects captured from earth. And based on these re reflections, it can characterize what objects it is imaging. It could be rocks, it could be concrete structures, it could be metal, it could be soil or even vegetation. Based on this, it can classify what objects it is looking at. And this is of great strategic importance because even if a structure or an object is camouflaged, it can still capture this. That's the speciality of this particular spacecraft and this is going to be the primary passenger. In addition to that, there are 15 satellites from various countries. Indian Academia and Startups have built a few satellites. In addition to that, there are companies and entities from Brazil and Europe who are also contributing to different satellites that will be flying aboard this mission. And the liftoff is planned for 10 18 and 30 seconds from then. So that's exactly when the PSLV will lift off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Arikota. From Sri Arikota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.